All right, this is a polyprotic acid problem, uh, sulfuric acid, slightly different than some of the other polyprotic acids in that the first dissociation is 100%. All right, so the first dissociation goes 100%. So we're, for the second dissociation, we're starting with an initial concentration of H3O plus of 0.1 and HSO4 initial concentration of 0.1. All right, so we have our balanced chemical equation for the second dissociation. And again, we, we're starting with an initial concentration of HSO4 minus of 0.1 and H3O plus of 0.1. This comes from the first dissociation. Okay, the change in the second, in H3O plus in the second dissociation is X and we gain X of the sulfite ion. We lose X of HSO4. So we can substitute our equilibrium values here into the value for Ka. Ka2 is 1.2 times 10 to the minus 2 or 0 0.012. So let's test to see if we can make a simplifying approximation. Okay, we multiply Ka by 1000, we get a value of 12 which is much larger than our initial concentration. So our approximation is absolutely not okay. We're going to... All right, here we are starting the algebra. So we have 0 0.012 times this quantity is equal to 1 times the product of these two. All right, we're going to need to solve this using the quadratic equation. So we need to put this into the appropriate form. Now we have it in the form of ax squared plus bx plus c, so we can solve this to get our two roots using the quadratic equation. All right, we have now our two roots from solving the quadratic equation. One of the roots is nonsense. We have a negative value here, which indicates that this reaction goes in the reverse direction, which it can't. We know it's going to go in the forward direction. So this root makes no sense. We know that x1 is now our value for x, which we see is the H3O plus that we get from the second association and is the concentration of the sulfate ion. All right, so we see here that we um, have to determine the total hydronium ion concentration, we have to add the first dissociation to the second. And in this case, we see that the H3O plus that is released from the second dissociation is significant. It raises the H3O plus concentration slightly. And we can calculate the pH, uh, 0 0.92. So the second dissociation makes the solution slightly more acidic. And finally, we can calculate the equilibrium concentration of HSO4 minus. And that's it. We're done.